name is Sincerely Drew, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make curry coconut shrimp. So let's just hop right into it. I'm going to tell you guys all that you need. You're going to need garlic, but I don't have garlic cloves here because I'm still in college. But I do have already pre-minced garlic that I'll be using. You're probably going to need about three to four cloves of it. It really just depends on how much shrimp that you have. You're going to need some onions. I don't have onions, so I'm going to be using onion powder. You're probably going to need a half, a quarter to a half of minced onions. Then, of course, you need your curry powder of your choosing. I am using the Blue Mountain curry powder, but you can use whichever one you want. This is just the one that was most convenient for me to get. Then you're gonna need one can of coconut milk. You'll be using the whole thing, especially if you make as much shrimp that I'm making. And you're going to need some oil. I'll be using olive oil in today's video, but you can use vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever oil is best for you. But I'll be using olive oil today. And lastly, of course, you need the star of your dish. You're going to need some shrimp. I like using raw shrimp, especially because if you know shrimp, you know it can cook very fast and it does tend to get rubbery. So in order to get all the curry juice flavors, curry sauce flavors into the shrimp, I like to start off with the raw shrimp. And I got the value bag peeled and divine and I got the size small. But you can use any size that you want. So now that you guys know everything that you need, oh, and you're also gonna need some seasoning to pre-season or marinate your shrimp. I use adobo seasoning, you don't need that much at all, but you can use a mixture. If you don't have adobo, you can use a mixture of salt, black pepper, a little bit of onion powder, and a little bit of garlic powder, and you don't need that much at all. This meat, the shrimp, gets its flavor from the sauce in this dish. It doesn't get its flavor from itself. And I've only been marinating it or having it sit in the seasoning for only about 15 minutes. Like I said, it doesn't need to sit in it for a long time. So, yeah. So now I'm gonna get into cooking and showing you guys how to make your curry coconut shrimp. Okay, y'all, so now that we are over here by the skillet, the first thing that you wanna do is take your olive oil and you wanna get a little bit of it in your pan or skillet. You don't need that much. So I'll say maybe about two to three um, tablespoons of olive oil. Now that that is in there, you want to get your garlic and you wanna mince it, of course, since mine is already minced, I'll be doing like three scoops of it is going to go in here. And you want your heat at medium to high. I'll do maybe like two and a half scoops. And now after this, you want to put your onion in. Since I don't have onion, I'm using onion powder like I told you guys earlier. And if you know anything about using seasoning to the real thing, you need more of the seasoning compared to actually using the real thing. So I'm going to use a little bit more of that. And now you just want to get this spread all over. You really want to get this sauteed and cooked up. So I'm going to cook this and then I'll show you guys what the next step is. Okay, also now that your garlic and your onions have gotten a little bit of brown and cooked, sauteed just a little bit, now it's time for you to go and put your curry powder in. So this, I really kind of just eyeball it and see how much that I want in it. I like a nice rich color for this dish. Now what you're going to do is what we call burning the curry. Basically what you're gonna do is fry it. So you're gonna let it sit for maybe five to six minutes until it starts to form a paste. And then I'll show you guys what it's supposed to look once it's done. So on this, you just wanna keep it still. I wouldn't do medium to high for this part, but I'll probably do medium to low or low to medium heat for this part. And I'll show you guys what it's supposed to look and how you know when it's done. Okay y'all, so now that our curry has formed a more of a pasty sort of consistency, we want to go in with our coconut milk. I know a lot of people would, after they do this, they'll put their shrimp in, but like I said, shrimp does cook fast. So I, I put shrimp in the last. 
and we're gonna be using the whole can. Once you get it in, you just wanna start moving everything around. You see that rich yellow curry color? Y'all, I'm telling you. If y'all could smell what it smells like in here right now, go ahead. So now that we have our coconut milk in here, we want to cook our coconut milk. You don't wanna have an upset stomach or anything like that, so it's very important to follow through with this step. This is something that I will keep on medium to low heat, and I'm going to let it sit and boil and cook for maybe six to seven minutes. 10 minutes if you can really do it without it burning or anything like that, but six to seven minutes is a good indicator just to make sure that this is cooked. Because like I said, you do not want to upset stomach because you had some uncooked coconut milk. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this and I'll show you guys what we're gonna do after this cooks. Y'all, it's already starting to thicken up. It's so good. And it smells even better. <laughs> Okay y'all, so I've been having this sit and simmer or boil for, not boil, <laughs> but I've been having this sit for about six minutes on low heat. So the next thing that we want to do, which is what everybody has been waiting for, is add our shrimp into this mixture. Now you wanna really make sure that you are on low heat because like I've said before, shrimp does cook very fast. So you see we have our shrimp in the bowl. We have a whole lot, nice and seasoned already. We're just going to take our shrimp and get it inside of our mixture. Ooh, y'all, it smells so good. <laughs> okay. So now, like I said, we have it on low. I'm gonna let it sit and there is no timing for this part. As you guys know, you know that shrimp is cooked when you start seeing a pink tone to it. But because I really want this shrimp to get all of this sauce into it, all of this flavor into it, I'm going to let it sit on low so that I can really soak up all the juices and flavors. So we're gonna do that, and then when we see that it's turning pink and it's starting to cook, then we will get back to it. And also y'all, I know I didn't say this earlier, but please make sure that you clean your shrimp. Like I showed you guys, I got the shrimp that was already peeled and divined from Walmart. But if you know anything, you can still get divined shrimp and it still has the little poop line in the front and on the bottom. So make sure you really take your time to actually soak your shrimp, then clean your shrimp, then soak the shrimp again, just to make sure that it is clean and you're not having anything that you know you shouldn't be having. <laughs> Low and slow is how I like to cook my shrimp. Low and slow. You don't want to cook it too fast and then it not get any of the flavor or soak up any of this sauce, so low and slow, okay? And if you wanna put a cover on right now, you can as well, but I just, I don't have a see-through cover at the moment, so. Okay y'all, so our shrimp has been sitting. You can't see it, but if you look a little bit close, they are starting to turn pink and they are shrinking. That is two ways that you know that your shrimp is cooked. So I'm just going to turn this, turn the heat down, turn it off, and I'm going to plate it and have y'all see how it looks, okay? Okay y'all, so that is how you make curry coconut shrimp. Let me just give y'all a up close look. Just in case you ain't see it, it's over here sliding off the plate because all that sauce, all that good work right there. So we're gonna try it, y'all, because it got to look as it got to taste as good as it look. So let's try it. 
y'all if you love curry you're going to love this it's not a spicy curry at all if you know about curry curry is just a powder in order to add the spice you know you have to add like a scotch bonnet or whatever sort of spice that you like but y'all this right here is amazing so y'all know everything that you need in order to make curry shrimp and you can pair this with whatever you like to eat i'm going to be pairing this with some brown rice instead of white rice that we would usually see i'm going to be pairing this with some brown rice and some corn so that's why i have a little bit extra sauce if you want more sauce and more gravy while you're making this you can either use a more coconut milk beforehand but after you put the shrimp in and you say you want more sauce then you want to add more water just know with the more water and liquid that you add it's going to be the more seasoning that you may want in order to make sure that it still tastes the same way but y'all this is amazing i'm about to eat this also another disclaimer for people who do not know much about curry when you are making this dish or making anything with curry or eating anything with curry please make sure you don't wear white and be very careful while you're eating your food because it most definitely stains even this spoon that i used it to cook with before it's um like there was a little bit curry staining on there as well so just so you guys know so y'all don't say that i didn't tell y'all so this has been the video if you need any if you have any questions about how to make this or if you have any other ideas or dish ideas that you guys want me to cook make sure you comment all that down below make sure you also follow me on instagram at i am sincerely dream that is where i showed you guys me making this the first time you guys are like oh we want to see a video so if you want to see more of what i'm making and really tell me what you want to see me make make sure you follow me on instagram at i am sincerely dream because of course i'm on there all the time and to see more of these videos along with college videos subscribe and hit the notification bell right now Hit the notification bell to make sure that you know every single time that I'm posting a video and you're the first to be notified. And remember that I love you guys. And my name is Sincerely Dream. And I will see you in the video. Bye.